What's going on, Door to Door Mastery fans? It's your boy, Paul Sha Frickin' Curry. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking two questions that came in my email inbox. As I said, uh, you guys give me those questions, they're gonna be answered, you better believe it. Uh, a lot of them, I just get back to you guys right away in email. Some of them, well, I still do these videos for. And uh, as you can probably tell, I'm feeling great. It's summertime, and it's time to start making some money selling door to door. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. We're back. So my boy Nico here, Nico H says, let's flip it over. Hello, I have been. Uh, I have read your blog and listened and watched your podcasts, and they are great. Thank you so much. I have one problem. I have I have gone door to door and scheduled meetings with one company. Then I made change in my career and started selling door to door. I don't know if you are familiar with this company called Very Sure. Anyways, I'm not, but uh, it's uh, it is the biggest company in alarm sales in Finland and Europe. I have been in this company for over a month and I have gotten a few sales. We go door to door and schedule meetings. Then we go to appointments and do security check and offer our services. My calendar is always full of appointments, but problem is I don't get enough sales. So my question is, should I ask more about potential customers needs at the door before our meeting? All right, great question. So Nico, first of all, there's quite a few things in here. Uh, if you're doing home security, residential, commercial security products and services, number one, you've came to the right person because I've done thousands of thousands of thousands of accounts made millions of dollars selling home security. And yes, millions of dollars. I really have. Uh, and both in myself, training and teaching all put together. So keep that in the back of your mind. You know, you're going to want to grow into management and start offering help to other people so that you can get paid for the efforts and energies you actually put in. Hey, it's reality of life. You just, that's how it goes. So you mentioned one problem is you, you're scheduling meetings and uh, with your company. So here's a big thing, guys. Scheduling meetings and, and going back to appointments, that shit ain't me. I'm not against it, okay? But it's just not me. It's, it's, a, it's a way that, okay, see, a lot of people have learned that it's um, this day and age, you know, people like to do more research. People like to, uh, what's the best way to put it? I'm kind of, I'm not hitting it right. It's not that people like to do more research. It's just before when money was flowing into the economy, this is, I got it perfectly. So listen up. When, it, when money was flowing into the economy easily, you see, people were just comfortable at just saying, hey, oh yeah, alarm systems, we've thought of that. Sure, why not? Let me just... Here you go. Take my uh, credit card, put it on there, and let's get this going. And nobody ever was faced with, you know, the downturns of an, an economy where they can actually lose their house. It wasn't real to them. And remember, as humans, by default, what's real to us is normally and typically what has happened to us in the past. You see, most people can't see the vision, can't see past what has happened to them in the past, cannot see past what has happened to them in the past. You got it? Just like yourselves. A lot of you who aren't closing machines just quite yet, your biggest barrier is getting past you being able to do that. You being able to see that vision that, you know what, one day I'm going to be a closing machine. Although it may not make sense right now, but you know, if I put that focus, my energy and efforts on believing that why not, why him, not me, then you will start to see a shift and change. So going back to these appointments and scheduling appointments and stuff, that shit ain't me. I wouldn't do that. I promise you. I would rather... Somebody say, hey, Paul, go find me customers. Here's an ID badge. Here's a, 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 a marketing material. Here's the price you can sell it at. And this is the products and services. Go find people. Why? Because people are scheduling appointments and yada, yada, yada. For me personally, they're just looking and shopping around. So they have that out of, hey, you're the second person. You know, I, I just want to shop around a bit more. So here's my thing for you. If you're going to still do that, and that's something that, you know, you're a little bit more comfortable doing because you actually have an in, somebody's expecting you to show up. Guys and gals, 
That's a weakness. I'm, I'm going to hit you with it. Boom. I'm going to hit you with it. That's a weakness. And I assure you, get take it for whatever it is. But the mere fact that people these days need these appointments, it's a weakness. You're scared. You're freaking shaking to damn knock on a cold call on a dang door. And guess what? You're going to fall. I promise you. Running these dang leads, and I get this asked all the time, how do you, what do you think about getting these listing leads, these, this, and that's what's working today. That's what's working for average salespeople. Guess what? Leads dry up. You don't know what the freak to do. And those leads aren't as solid as turning somebody from knocking on their door and not interested into instantly being interested to hear what you have to say so you can sell your products and services. The number one thing that's stopping you is this dang mind. Get in it. Look at it. My damn balding head. Really, from the bottom of my heart, folks, get inside this damn beast. It's time to take action in your life and realize you are meant for so much more. Do you guys realize that you were born, what? You were born confident. You were born successful. You, when you were, when you, when you were a baby, you didn't, you didn't stand up on your feet and all of a sudden say, oh my God, you know, uh, I don't think I could, could he do this? I mean, on your knees and then say, I don't think I could do this standing up on my feet. No, you had the confidence to say, I'm going to grow. I'm going to develop. Well, there's no different in growing and developing as a salesperson. Okay. Understand that. So I've been at this company for a month now. I'm bashing you in the point where if they give you these leads, run them, go ahead, do it. But guess what? The homes around them, knock it, bash it. Make sure you knock, you know, 50 doors around each lead that you get until you go to your next appointment. Because I can assure you, the mass majority of people who get these damn leads, they sit in the car after their lead and they wait, drink their damn disgusting sodas or, or, or freaking sugary drinks from Starbucks, which is crap for you. Absolute freaking crap. And it's damaging your brain and your brain cells and your ability to get that excitement level to, 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 to brew up energy inside you. People say, how do I have so much energy? Dude, I'm shaking right now. I don't, even, I don't, I don't touch sugar. I don't touch coffee. How do I have that? I, I, I now even switch to my diet into this healthy, healthy fats. And, and it's this ketosis, ke ke ketogenic, whatever the frick you want to call it. And it feels amazing. Guess what? It's all inside your head to start. So when you go out there and um, you, you say your calendar is full and you're always, uh, you know, full of appointments and your problem is you don't get enough sales. The main problem is, for, uh, brother, you're, you're, you're really focusing on the wrong thing. You're going out there and you're doing the appointments and you're, people who have preset appointments typically, and I'm saying this because it can be, can, and remember, there's no one size fits all teaching, but typically what that means is those are people and you, by from what you're saying here, it looks like those aren't solid leads. And, uh, you know, if, if, if even if it is, a, if it's a solid lead, and you go to the door and you know that they're they're remotely interested in hearing more and you're not closing then you have to step up your game and taking control all taught in my masterddd.com program it's about learning how to build up your features and benefits how to get inside do the in-house demonstration and when you're doing the in-house demonstration you're not just saying oh yeah it's a motion detector front door back door garage door that's not the crap you're talking about you're saying let me show you this customer look if i were to do that you see in that corner right there you see that motion detector right there? If I were to slam that thing inside this house right here, do you know what that would mean to you? Do you know what that would mean to this dang house? Do you know what that would mean to you? Guess what that means to me? Oh, wait a second, means to you? What does that mean? What does it mean to me? What this means to me is if someone were to break in from that window right there, what the freak do you think's gonna happen? All my awesome valuables ain't going because the police are gonna get called right to my door and guess what, I paid for that. I paid for that. I don't expect everything for free. Do you wanna protect your home? And again, when you speak, you speak with confidence but also with respect. You know, hey Mr. Prospect, I just wanna let you know, um, we have these motion detectors and I have to show you this thing. It's the absolute best part about the security system, aside from the panel of course, but let me show you this. Here, this is your, your living room, right? Let's let's walk on over here. Boom, you start walking onto the living room. Boom, you start saying, you see that bad boy right there? Uh, the picture here, I'm gonna place my my little bad boy, my brother right there. I'm gonna place him right up here. Look at how cute that is. All right, enough of that. I'm gonna place that right there so that if somebody were to do this inside this property, guess what? That is gonna do this and trigger that, which will ultimately get the police over here and stop what you thought could have possibly happened because you and I both know this house right now without being secured, heaven forbid, 
is open to the possibility that it can get broken into. Let's eliminate that. How? It's pennies. I'm going to show you. But before I do, I want to make sure you actually like this stuff. Guys, energy, excitement. You guys are dead. Not all of you, but some of you. You guys are dead. You guys are walking walking with your, your, your head between your legs, scared out of your life what the freaking person on the other side is going to think of you. Guess what? F that. Who gives a shit what people think? Really? I know it's easy to say that, but who cares? You got to start building that who cares mentality. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to start building this merch, which my wife is going to be start doing. Uh, you know, one of them is going to be that. It's like who cares mentality? Really? And I don't mean who cares as in like, I don't give a shit about that person, but I don't care what they think of me right away. Build that up. It doesn't come overnight, but build that up. And once you do, you're knocking all of a sudden with confidence. And when somebody, boom, slams the door on your face, what do you do? <laughs> you laugh about it. You chuckle. What an idiot. Really, in the back of your head, what an idiot that could actually do that to a human, to another human being, without at least saying hi. That's how, how you start talking to yourself and you get inside the mind the balding head. That's how you start getting inside of it. I'm here as your coach and I'm here to help develop each and every one of you. But in order to do that, guess what? It's going to take courage. You can't just watch the videos and expect you're going to get that courage built up to go out there and really make it happen. So guess what? Start learning that you have to commit and build that courage. So my question should be, as he says, uh, as I ask more about potential customers' needs uh, before, what? Um, so my question is, should I ask more about potential customers' needs at the door? No. No, no, they're not going to tell you their needs. They're not. Brother, they're not going to tell you their needs at the door. Where are they going to tell you their needs? Inside the house. And the reason why is because once you're inside the house, they have a better understanding of what the security system does. And then you say, by the way, what would be your most valuable need that you would? And again, it doesn't matter what you say. It's how you say it. So don't, don't focus too much on what you're saying, but um, what would be your most valuable need inside your house here for securing and protecting your property? Like, uh, for example, um, would you be more concerned about someone breaking into the living room, to the upstairs, the downstairs? What would be your number one concern? And, and I hope the answer, first of all, is, is every part of the house. But, but what if you had to say just slightly a bit more, what would it be? Uh, that would be my downstairs basement because that's where the majority of my stuff is. Perfect. You know what? Let's go take a look at that. And I'm going to show you something that you'll be absolutely shocked about. Go down. Show them. Show them there's an actual window. Put a motion detector. If someone were smashing here, jump back out there. Would you want that freaking to happen to you? Guess what? I got a solution for you. And that solution is to get what I have, not because I'm going to get paid, but because you, it'll absolutely transform your life. It'll absolutely transform your everyday activities, your everyday being able to come back to your property after you're finished a hard day's work, which you work hard. By the way, Mr. Prospect, what do you do? What is it you do? Guess what I do? I teach over 11,000 people how to sell and close door to door, whether you sell pest control, solar, no matter what it is. You think my energy has got to be up? Yeah, absolutely. You think it's easy to be looking into a camera and speaking to, you know, the silence? Absolutely. For a guy who's always off the, the hooks going crazy. But guess what? I'm here as a commitment to all of you, to each and every one of you, that you will become successful if you continue to follow my teachings and how I actually, sh what I went through day to day inside the mind of myself. How do you do that? Simple. Link in the description. Make sure you smash that button. That'll take you over to my three free video series. Warning, my masterd2d.com program, depending when you watch this, is going to be taken down soon. Warning, I'm telling you, my marketing team is going to be taking it down soon. Those thousands of people who have already purchased it, it will be in there for you. They are switching up the masterd2d.com program. So it is summertime and I'm very much alert and aware of that. If you've been contemplating getting it, grab it before it's too late. And if you think I'm bluffing on this, wait till you land on that page and it says, sorry, it is now has now been taken down and you will get notified. Put your email address when it's up for resale again. Warning, you've been warned, okay? And I'm just saying this because I know a lot of people say, Paul, sometimes you make some changes and you don't tell us. I'm telling you, and guess what? I only care about the people who subscribe to the channel and actually watch us consistently because that's how you get better and that's how you stay tuned, not the person who stays once every now and then and says, hey, I'm going to go out three times a week. You want to be a badass closer? Guess what? Close deals, selling door to door, building that emotion, that energy, that excitement, and selling it the way I taught you. Time to close this. Boom!